half getting it away to like all Pierce, games of football rugby league is tough perhaps the toughest of any of the body contact sports the tamady family of new zealand are part and parcel of the game's folklore on the other side of the tasman Back in 1985, Kevin Tamady showed us why he was known as the Maori warrior of the Kiwi Test Team. When he and Australia's front rower, Greg Dowling, had a slight disagreement at Brisbane's Lang Park. The fingers are going, they might carry this on in the shower room. Dowling, oh, and it's on again, it's on again. Dowling gave him one, and Tamady came back, and this is, well, this is disgusting. Really, they're fighting now, right in front of the crowd, off the field of play. Brother Howie was another hardened international who wore the black and white around the football globe. Coming away with it now is Howie Tamady. These days, Howie Tamady concentrates his football talents into coaching the Wellington team. In a recent game against Australia, the former great was doing it tough on the sideline. At the same time, high above the ground, another Tamady was making football history. This time, Howie's wife, Alu Alu. Her role, match commentator for the local radio station. And good afternoon from the Basin Reserve, the scene of this international rugby league match. First of all, a great big welcome, a first in radio, a women commentator, the wife of the Wellington coach. Good afternoon to Ara Ara Tamati. How are you, Colin? How are you? How does it feel? Oh, great. It's wonderful up here. Different view on the game? Well, you can see it all happening. It's very. It actually feels closer than, than downstairs. To our knowledge, this was the first time any woman has been given the chance to add comments during an international broadcast. But then, Alu Alu isn't your average footballing widow. Yeah, did you have much interest in the game before meeting Howie? Well, actually I did because my brother played rugby league at school and um, also um, when I was at university um, studying, we had you know rugby league and varsities and going to watch them when they head into, into varsity um, provincial league. Um, that was fine. I've also actually played it myself, you wouldn't believe. Um, I played for one of the local clubs, or played for one of the local clubs here, uh, but unfortunately I'm just a bit indisposed because I'm, I'm due to have a baby in October. <laughs> I've heard you're not a bad touch player. Touch player, yes. Um, I really love the game. Um, it, it requires very similar skills to rugby league, but not quite because, I mean, you're, you're looking for um, pace and skill. Um, I played for Wellington, but um, almost made it to New Zealand side, but not. You've had a fairly varied life because you've also worked as a presenter on television. Yes. Tell us a bit about that. Well, um, I started my television career about in 1981, um, 1982, working for one of the local programs, um, a Māori program. That was actually where I met Howie. Um, I was doing a program on Māori sports people and um, interviewed him and it started from there. Um, that was in 1983 before the, that, that um, tremendous um, Kiwi win in 1912 in, in, at Lane Park. Don't remind me about it. So it was love at first sight. <laughs> well, you could say that. I don't know what he would say about that. <laughs> now what about today as a commentator? Did you enjoy doing that? It was tremendous. Loved it. Every minute of it. Um, actually the game went far, um, past very much more quickly than I actually expected. Alu Alu's motivating drive is a Maori heritage. For years now, she's been on the campaign trail fighting for quality of sports, all sports. Selling the skills of her countrymen and women from rugby to netball and everything else in between. Television and radio has created the platform for her work. Football, both league and rugby, has established this most determined young lady as a voice in the community. And the Tamati name has helped to push her point of view. The traditional Māori sport, rugby, has its beginnings in little rural areas like this northern town, Te Kōpuru, where rugby is the be-all and end-all, the game to play. And despite the fact that Māori rugby is moving with the drifts to the cities, this is still the heartland of the game. And who knows, in years to come, some of these little boys may be wearing the all-black jersey. Alu Alu's husband Howie and brother-in-law Kevin have sent a chill along the spines of many a player around the world. With this, the Maori battle cry of the haka. But it's the youngsters of a race that really send her blood pumping whenever they emulate their elders. As for Coach Howie, he's as proud as Punch over his wife's achievements. 
Yeah, well, what happened was the uh, the radio announcer rang her up one day and he was talking away there, and so they started talking football. He hung up and, and uh, the announcer said, uh, wife said, well, who was that? How And she said, no, that's his wife. She said, well, she seems to know a bit about football, so why don't you have her on? I don't, I don't, at this point in time, I don't know how she went, but uh, I know she knows her football. Well, you've played, you've coached, you're a commentator yourself. I mean, your wife can't play. I don't know if she's going to coach, but she's doing a good job commentating. Well, she's not a bad touch footballer, though. <laughs> so we thought about um, playing a dummy half and all that sort of thing. She plays touch football for Wellington, so she's a very, very good sportswoman as well. It's terrific to have that relationship between the pair of you. Oh, yeah, she's a tremendous support for me. You know, I can sit down and I can talk about things and uh, thrash them around. She, she has a fair understanding of how what I think about footballers and, and the way the game should be played. And she's a very intelligent woman and uh, she, quite, she, uh, she really loves the game as well. So there you are, you football gals of Australia. Don't just sit back and let the boys have all the fun. Grab a microphone. And perhaps like Alu Alu, your commentary can drive your footballing men to new heights in the game they play. Good hands, my day. No, he's lost it. Lost it. No. Bad play.